Well, most of the valley stayed dry today. The sea breeze did spark a few showers and weak thunderstorms around the area, but most of them stay in just north of the area this afternoon. And we could see the same thing again tomorrow. The sea breeze comes in, showers, maybe a couple of weak thunderstorms pop up here and there in the afternoon and then fade away before sunset. And you can see the first one five Doppler network. This is the last three hours and within the last three hours we've gone from a couple showers in Willsey County to even less showers in Hidalgo County. Zoom in right now one shower uh, just south of FM 1017 in northern Hidalgo County moving kind of toward the west, maybe west northwest right here's the border with Star County, so not too far away, but not a lot of rain coming out of this just you know maybe a tenth of an inch quarter of an inch and one little shower just popped up. I mean a very small shower over about 23rd Street where road areas in the northern uh, areas of McAllen. This is a little shower just popping up and moving to the west kind of following right along about Auburn Avenue there. So again, little showers like that are still possible over the next couple of hours. A few showers have been west of Zapata and well near Zapata in Zapata County west of uh, Falcon Lake mainly, but those continue to move off to the west as well. Temperatures are not hot in most areas. I mean, for this time of year, we're only at 90 in Harlingen. It's still a hot 102 in Rio Grande City, but 99 in McAllen. And probably we'll see similar numbers tomorrow. A lot of places kind of peak in the mid to upper 90s or so in the afternoon. And we may catch some extra clouds here and there. You notice if you look at the skies right now, there's kind of some maybe some high clouds out there mixed with the, some of the puffier clouds. You may, just maybe enough cloud cover mixed in to keep temperatures down a couple degrees. A light breeze coming in from the east right now, about 10 to 20 miles per hour behind the sea breeze, and that is about it. Your, your day planner for the day on Tuesday, we go from a few clouds in the morning and upper 70s or so at 8 a.m. to uh, about mid 90s by lunchtime and then probably hang in the 90s most of the afternoon. It depends if you get caught under some clouds or showers from the sea breeze that may drop temperatures back and kind of stay in the lower 90s most of the afternoon, but somewhere in the 90s tomorrow with the hottest numbers likely in parts of Star County. You can see the sea breeze again here with the satellite and again some extra high clouds kind of hanging around and coming on in as well, but most of the showers already fading away. Look farther out into the Gulf. There are still some showers out there. Enough moisture, enough moisture still hanging around that we keep the shower chance at about 20% tomorrow. Some of the models also kind of show a weak upper level disturbance. If you kind of look at the last couple of frames here, right about here, right there, you see kind of the clouds coming in from the north around Houston. So a little weak disturbance might come down over the area by Tuesday and early Wednesday to help keep the chance for a shower going. So not a big, big chance, but you see on future track here, uh, mainly partly cloudy skies overnight tonight and then tomorrow starts off kind of partly cloudy in the morning, still showing dry by mid morning. Then the sea breeze comes in from the east with a couple showers here and there, maybe a weak thunderstorm in spots and then everything fades away by about sunset. And the same thing happens again on Wednesday with about a 20% chance of a shower or two. And again, most places stay dry. You might get caught in a quick downpour and uh, not much more beyond that. So uh, things overall again, not big rain chances. 20% Tuesday and Wednesday down to 10% Thursday and probably holding it at about that level or less by the time we get to Friday and a Saturday. Uh, tomorrow and for Wednesday, if you're going to the island, probably going to stay dry. I mean, you can't rule out maybe a very quick shower uh, one of those days, but upper 80s or so with temperatures uh, staying in the 90s farther inland. So the first one five seven day forecast highs, you know, Average high this time of year is about 96, 97, 98, depending on where you are in the valley. And we stay close to those numbers, maybe a couple degrees cooler in the next few days with a few showers or a weak thunderstorm around on Tuesday and Wednesday. And then by Thursday, still maybe a small chance for a shower. We saw it about 10% and then near or less than 10% chances for rain Friday and Saturday. Uh, next week's a little bit iffy. Some of the models do show clouds coming in from the Pacific, which may help drop temperatures a few degrees and then also an increase in moisture. So we may have a few more sea breeze showers or a storm by Sunday and Monday, but also maybe a few extra clouds to keep temperatures down just a little bit. We'll keep tracking those changes in your first one five forecast here on Channel 5 News at 5.